guys, welcome back to Homemade Happiness and I'm Poonam Joshi. So today I'm going to show you this fantastic frosting recipe. It's my Swiss meringue buttercream. Buttercream is obviously really versatile, but sometimes I find it too cloyingly sweet, which is why this version is so much better. It's going to be so light and so fluffy, which basically means that you can eat boatloads of it without feeling full. So let me show you what we need. For this first step, we're just going to make a meringue. And for that, we need four egg whites here. And I have one cup of granulated sugar. You don't need the powdered version for this. So we're going to need a double boiler for this. So I have a pot of water boiling right here. Now what we're going to do is add the sugar to the egg whites. And then place this pot on top of this one. But the thing to be careful about is we don't want the eggs to scramble because of the heat. So we're going to take a whisk and whisk it constantly till it's done. The thing we want is for the sugar to melt completely within the egg white mixture. So this mixture is done now. The sugar is completely melted. And how you can check is to take some of it between your fingertips and you shouldn't be able to feel any sugar. So this thing is absolutely perfect, it's done. So moving on to our next step, we're gonna make a meringue now. I'm gonna use a hand mixer and basically beat it till we get nice stiff peaks. So if you can see, we have really nice and stiff peaks now. The meringue has gone all glossy and shiny. And it's ready for our next step. So you guys do know what the ultimate meringue test is, right? So basically, your meringue is done when you can hold it over your head and it doesn't fall down. So should we try that? Okay. Here we go. Okay, it's all good now. <laughs> okay, so now we're ready for the next step, which is we're going to start adding the butter and turning it into a buttercream. Here I also have about one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, but we're going to get to that later. So let's get started. We're going to add the butter a bit by bit, which is why I've roughly cubed it. So in goes the first piece. And now you want to mix it till this piece of butter gets mixed completely. You don't want to see any butter remaining. time to add the last piece of butter if it's really hot where you live you might find that the meringue mixture is still really soupy but don't worry about it if your meringue is too soft all it needs is about five ten minutes in the refrigerator and it's going to be fine so this is done now you can see it's absolutely perfect it's now time to add our vanilla just a little bit and just give it a final blend As you can see, this is done now. It looks absolutely gorgeous. What you can do is give it a try and see if you need more vanilla. Mm, no, it's perfect. So here it is, guys. My recipe for a Swiss meringue buttercream. This recipe is so versatile. You can use it for practically everything. In fact, I'm going to be making a red velvet cake later today. I'm going to be using this as my frosting and it's going to be amazing. So if you do like this video, please hit thumbs up, please hit the subscribe button below and in case you make this recipe, please let me know. I would love to know. Please comment down below and I shall see you soon with another fantastic recipe. Bye!